everyone! Welcome to my channel. So today I am going to be doing the Ipsy Plus versus the Ipsy Glam Bag X for August of 2022. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Ipsy, they have their Glam Bag Plus, which comes with five full-size products every month. Um, this bag is $28 a month, and you do get to some make a selection for three of the products, and the other two are chosen by Ipsy. But once a quarter, they also have their Ipsy Glam Bag X, and you can upgrade your plus to the X. Now the X is $58 a quarter, it comes with eight products inside and you do get to make the same amount of selections, so three selections and five products are chosen for you. So on X months, if you are subscribed to get the X, you don't get the plus. So you're probably wondering, well, why do you have both? Well, the plus is my sister's bag and the X is mine. Um, the intention was for us to film this video together. However, her plus came so late that we just don't, and our schedules just don't align to be able to film it together this month, so hopefully in the future we'll be able to do that. If you're new to my channel, welcome, or welcome back. My name is Katrina and I am a sub box lover. I love to share subscription boxes with all of you sub box lovers out there. So if you like subscription boxes, unboxing videos, beauty videos, things like that, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on a future upload. <laughs> I am super happy that you're here today to unbox the Plus and the X with me, even though we don't have my sister Rachel with me. Now I'll start off by unboxing her Plus and then we'll get into the X, so that if you're somebody who's not sure whether or not it's worth upgrading to the X, you can make that decision. Now the X is more of like a quarterly, some, I don't think, there, there's, sometimes there's lifestyle choices in that, and then there's the Plus. So we're gonna jump into the Plus again, $28 a month, five full size products. I think there is a $1.99 like fee that Ipsy puts on everything now, but this is what it looks like. So this one does come with a drawstring bag. The bag is super cute this month with kind of this like leafy pattern. It's got like salmon drawstrings on it. And this month's theme is Hotel Paradise. It says here, warm breezes, lush landscapes, major glow. This month, check into a vacay state of mind. Hello, massages and matching mani pedis. Unwind and go ahead and order room service. So really, really fun. Now there's the product is not listed inside, and since my sister's not here, I don't have her app. So I don't know like what the retail value are. So we're just gonna kind of go through it. But what I will say is there's only four things in this box, and there's supposed to be five. So I'm gonna have to reach out to her after this and let her know that she's missing a product so that she can reach out to Ipsy's customer service. Maybe that's why it was late. Maybe there's like something that didn't come in. I don't really know, but let's jump in. So the very first thing that I am pulling out of her bag is this here. It is from Dew of the Gods, and this is their Frosé, the Royal Face Wash. Now I know she loves face washes, and honestly, I'd be excited about this too. And um, now all of the Dew of the Gods products are like um, blessed by a monk, I believe but really, really fun packaging. So it's got their really fun rainbow packaging. It is sealed, so I can't smell it. It does smell like, like packagey, like fumey in that way. Um, but it's a nice little, it's a squalane cream facial cleanser. Um, I'm a big fan of face washes. I know she is too, so I know. Well, she, I don't know what she picked and what she didn't, um, but I'm pretty sure she'll be happy about this. Up next, we have a product from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is their Brow Wiz Skinny Brow Pencil in the shade Medium Brown. Now, I feel like I remember her when she was making her selections asking me if she should get this. I could be wrong. And this is what it looks like. Now, she I don't think she really fills in her brows. Um, I do have permission to be unboxing her box, by the way, in case you're wondering. I'm not gonna swatch it, though, but it's just a nice little light brown um, brow pencil. I, told, I think I told her to get this because I'm like, you'll like it. And then on the other end, is a little spooly. Um, so honestly, this is a very good, like this is a good Ipsy Plus so far. You do get really, really good stuff. The selections, everybody gets different selections to choose from. It's same with the Glam Bag X, um, but so far, I actually, I would pick, I would like, this is stuff that I would have picked, so I'm loving her bag. Up next, she has this here from Wishful, and this is their Honey Balm Jelly Moisturizer, and it's in this really cute, like frosty purple and white packaging. I've definitely gotten this before in a box. This is lavender honey, niacinamide, and turmeric. Now, normally Ipsy does send me a PR plus and regular glam bag, but this one they sent me a PRX. So I've already unboxed an X, but this is my paid for version. I don't remember, I don't know. The, now the thing about this one is that it's very strong, like a very strong lavender scent. 
like really strong. It's a pretty thick cream. Um, so I don't know if she chose this or not because she doesn't like moisturizers. So I would wager to bet that this is something that Ipsy picked for her versus something that she picked, but still a cool product. All right, up next we have a product from Bite Beauty and this is their Power Move Soft Matte Lipstick in the shade Sugar Buns, which looks like a really fun shade. So this is what Bite Beauty's lipstick packaging looks like. It's got that soft matte kind of dark gray to it. Oh, it smells like, it smells like lipstick, but it smells like cakey. So this is what it looks like. Again, I'm not gonna swatch this since this is not mine, but I think it's a really pretty shade. Now my sister does not like color. I like, she just likes a clear lip gloss or a clear lip balm. So I'm curious to see if she's gonna like this. I don't think Ipsy chose this for her. I do think that she chose this, just she probably didn't know what else to choose in the category. I'm gonna have to like call her in a minute to find out like what she chose and what she didn't so we can see how accurate I was. Um, not gonna lie, I've already tried to call her twice while filming this video and she has not picked up, so <laughs> we'll see if she calls me back by the end of this video. If not, I'll try to leave a comment. I'll try to pin a comment on like what product was missing and what product she chose and what she didn't. So there is a product missing, so this is a weird versus because there's only four products here, but personally what I would say, I really love the curation of the four products. Now there is a fifth one that should be coming in and hopefully they'll be able to send a replacement. Um, but for me, I like, these three things, I don't like this just because it's extremely scented and it's a little too thick for my skin personally, but if it were to work for my skin, I think that this would be a really, really good box. So, you get five full size for $28, so now let's see what you get for eight full size in the Ipsy X for $58. Alright, so literally the second I just said that, my sister did call me, so she's here on the phone. I've got all the information from her. She doesn't want to be seen because she just got out of the shower, but she wants to say hi. So you want to say hi? Hi guys, I wish I was there. I wish you were here too, but she'll be in the next one, so don't worry. All right, so the product that was missing from her bag was the Lord Jones CBD Lip Balm, which retails for $12. So she's gonna email customer service so that they can replace that for her. Um, now, the this retailed for $24, the Frosé Wash, the Anastasia Beverly Hills retailed for $23, the Wishful Moisturizer retailed for $43, and the Bite Beauty retailed for $28. Now, I was wrong. Ipsy chose the brow gel and the wash for her, and then she, <laughs> oops, she picked the balm and the lip balm. I got the lip balm right. I got every single thing else wrong, so clearly I don't know my sister that well, or I don't know Ipsy that well. Either way, so that was everything that she got in her plus. So now, let's jump into the Glipsy, Gl the Lipsy Glamog X. That was great, the Ipsy Glam Bag X. All right, when you open up the Ipsy Glam Bag X, this is what it looks like. So Alicia Keys was the curator for this box. There's usually some sort of like influencer or famous person that kind of curates each of these Glam Bag Xs. And Alicia Keys has her line Keys Soul Care, so there's definitely gonna be some of those products inside. All right, so the first thing that I am pulling out of my Ipsy Glam Bag X is from One Size, and this is their Turn Up The Base Versatile Powder Foundation, which retails for $33. Now this was something that I chose. Um, I'm a big fan of powders. I have a lot of powders. Um, and so I was really curious to try this out. I've never tried the One Size formula for powder before. Just opens up like that and because I'm pale, it's a very pale color. It does come with the mirror. I think I got to choose my shade. Packaging is really nice. I almost feel like it's too light for me. Well, my arms are way tanner than my face is, to be fair. I got mine in the shade Fair One, but it's a foundation, so it's not just like a regular powder. I guess I could use it as a foundation. I normally use it just to set my face, but honestly, this was obviously something I chose, but I'm very, very excited about that. The next thing that I chose in the box was from the Organic Pharmacy, and this is their Honey and Jasmine Mask, which looks like this, and retails for $74, so it is expansive. Um, so you apply a generous layer to cleanse skin and you leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes and remove with a muslin cloth soaked in hot water. Um, it says for optimum results, a thin layer can be left um, to absorb overnight. So what does this do? Uh, it has rich ingredients like honey, rosehip, shea butter, and evening primrose. This mask deeply penetrates your skin with a boost of hydration for dry dehydrated skin. It can also help calm, soothe, and reduce redness. Um, so it's, I, I don't know 
why I chose this because I have oily skin. My skin is not dry or dehydrated, but I like masks like this for kind of like the fall and the winter months um, when my skin does get a little bit more dry with the season. So not mad about it. I mean, I chose it. Ooh, I kind of smell the jasmine a little bit, which I'm here for. I love the smell of jasmine. So not mad about it. I don't think I was really excited with the choices in that category. So you have like three categories that you pick from and you just pick one from it. And I don't think I really was feeling anything, which is why I chose this would be my assumption, but I don't remember. The next thing that I chose, I've actually gotten an Ipsy before and I don't know if I got it in Ipsy X, but this is from Patrick Ta Beauty and this is their Major Glow Softening Lip Mask and She's Juicy for $22. I'm a big lip mask fan and I do really like this lip mask. Now it's not my favorite lip mask because it does kind of like tingle a little bit, um, which I don't love for an overnight mask, but it's a really nice mask. I'm not gonna like open this one cause I already have one that's open, but it's just a nice kind of mask. It's got a nice kind of like minty chocolatey kind of smell to it. It's not chocolatey, but it's got a really nice, it's got a beautiful sheen to it. Um, and I really liked it and there was nothing else in the category that I was into. So I'm like, I'm just going to get another mask and get stocked up because it's a really nice lip mask. Again, it has a little bit of plumping to it. Um, I think I, it doesn't mention anything about it, but you just put this on for moisture and shine and you apply a thick layer on overnight. I'm going to use this again tonight. Um, but I, I remember it feeling like it plumped, but it doesn't say anything about it. So maybe I'm getting that wrong, but there is something about it that I don't use it. It's not my go-to. My go-to is the Laneige sleeping mask, but I do really like this one. All right. So everything else in my box was picked by Ipsy for me. So the first thing here is from Grown Alchemists and this is their Hydro Repair Day Cream, which retails for $49. So this is a moisturizer and has camellia and geranium blossom. And this is what it looks like here. So it's a cream kind of non-greasy facial moisturizer um, without leaving residue or oil or shine on the skin. I am tempted to try this. The Grown Alchemist stuff I feel like is always meant more for people with dry skin, but maybe I'm wrong and I just need to try this out. It is like the stabby top kind, where it has like the metal seal that you have to stab with the lid to open. So I'm excited to try this. I'm, I'm gonna try it out. I, I'm, I feel like Grown Alchemist general range of product is not made for my skin, but I'm gonna try this one out because I've gotten a lot and I really wanna try their stuff. So not mad. The next thing that I received is from Keys Soul Care and this is their Be It Luminous Exfoliator which retails for $25. I believe this is a powder exfoliant um, that you put, yeah, you put it in your palm and you make it lathery. I already own this product so I'm going to put this one in a future giveaway. It does come in like, I'm not going to take it out of the box because it is like sealed, but it does come in like a glass bottle. It's really, really nice. I've used it before, I like it, but I don't need another one. So I'm gonna put that one in a giveaway. Up next, we have a product from LYS Beauty and this is their Aim High Multi-Use Liquid Highlighter. The thing on my phone won't load, so I don't know how much this retails for, but this is in the shade Brave or Champagne. And this is what it looks like. It's a very gold highlighter. So it's probably not gonna work. I think it's too dark for my skin. I also don't like liquid products, liquid face products. So not for me. I'll be honest that this X I was not a big fan of. Some of them blow me away. This one was not one of them. So again, I'll probably put this one in a future giveaway just cause I know I won't really use it. Oh, I forgot I have the pamphlet in front of me. This retails for $19. Then from Oma Beauty or Oma Beauty, we have their Brow Fro Baby Hair Ultra Slim Brow Defining Pencil, which retails for $22. Mine is in the shade O2, which I'm curious to see what shade they gave me. Like, cause I think I have blonde hair in my profile, but I do not have blonde brows. O2 doesn't say, doesn't read blonde for me. Okay, well, there's a spoolie on one end it's got this really cool like metallic, almost like brown color to it. All right, so that's what it looks like. I'm gonna put a little on my hand to see. Ooh, yeah, that will work for me. Ooh, okay, cool, they got the right shade. I wasn't sure because, because I didn't select this product. You just never really know if they're gonna pick the right one for you, but they definitely did, so that's really exciting. I love brow products like that. Oh, I'm putting it in the wrong 
slot. There's different slots in there. I've never, I've tried a few things from Oma Beauty before from boxes and I really want to try more. I love their packaging. It's really, really cute. So I'm very excited to try that out. And then last but not least, I'm very excited. They chose this for me. I didn't choose it, but I'm very excited. I love Briogeo stuff. And this is their Farewell Frizz Rosarco Milk Leave-In Conditioning Spray, which retails for $24. This stuff smells so good. I'm not gonna like, well, I'll open it the wrong way to smell it. Cause I just, Mm, I just love the smell of their stuff. Now I buy their Farewell Frizz like heat styling cream, but I love a good like conditioning leave-in spray. I always spray, 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 spray my hair like when I get out of the shower when it's wet with some sort of leave-in detangler. I'm really, really excited about this one because this one is very good. I love, I love this scent. Uh, the very first FabFitFun that I ever got, like the welcome box, had this or the cream in it they smell the same and this was like before i had a channel before I had anything like right when i was just starting to get into subscription boxes and so like this is the scent of like nostalgic subscription boxes for me i just it smells so good i'm so excited about this so that was everything in my ipsy glam bag x for august so for 30 dollars more than the ipsy glam bag plus i got the keys soul care exfoliator the liquid highlighter, a moisturizer, a lip mask, a face powder, a face mask, a leave-in conditioning spray, and a brow pencil. Um, I actually think I preferred my sister's plus to this. I don't dislike this box, but it's definitely not my favorite. Um, I think my favorite stuff in here is the mask, the leave-in conditioner, the brow pencil, and the foundation. Um, everything else I'm kind of like, meh, it's okay, I'm not like super excited about it. Two of the other four are going in a giveaway and then these two I'm kind of like meh about, I'm not super excited. So, not my favorite Glam Bag X. Um, but hopefully that should got you a better idea of what the plus versus the X is like on the months where there are both. Normally I don't do the versus video, but I was planning on doing it this month with my sister and then of course just the timing didn't work out. So, the next time that there's an Ipsy Glam Bag month, in three months, which is December, August, September, October, no, November, November's, November's the next one, <laughs> I think. I, BoxyCharm and Ipsy are like off, so I think BoxyCharm's Lux is in December, but the X will be in November. Do you wanna do an, a plus versus X? Do you want them to have their own videos? Definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What did you think of the products that I got and my sister got? What did you get in your Ipsy Glam bags this month? Uh, probably gonna be quick turnaround. You're probably gonna see my PR video for the Ipsy September box going up here very, very soon. Um, so make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on that video. If you like this one, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video.